Good afternoon everyone. This is Mike AE0MT. New call sign and a new uh, azimuth and elevation antenna system that I wanted to show. Uh, the antenna on the left, or closest to us now, is an M squared 42 element circularly polarized beam for 70 centimeters. And the one behind it is an M squared 22 element circularly polarized beam for 2 meters. Uh, at the bottom is TV stuff. The uh, whole thing is mounted on top of a Yaesu G800 rotator and on top of that is a plate with a linear actuator and a box for some sensors. That linear actuator will push on a lever which rotates the cross boom. Right now I have the antenna set, with, uh, set up with the software to be able to track a satellite as it's about to start passing. Uh, right now the antenna is physically at 20 degrees and it will uh, I have to fix a couple things real quick to get it down to go back down to zero. A uh, bolt came loose that I have to adjust. But I uh, thought you'd like to see the antennas tracking. So we'll see if we can watch it and see as it goes. If you see ever so slightly, it's moving up just ever so slightly as the satellite is tracking across. The, uh, the rotator controller has a gray box, or I'm sorry, the rotator unit itself has a little gray box that's mounted to the cross boom. That gray box contains a uh, accelerometer and a GPS. That accelerometer is always measuring the acceleration of gravity. And because gravity is more or less a constant, we can always know what direction is down. So it knows where down is and it will move the linear actuator according to where it needs to go whether it's uh, you know, too low or too high. You can see she moved just a little bit there. The, uh, the whole thing has PWM uh, pulse width modulation capability so that it will slowly move as it needs to and then uh, if it needs to go full speed it can but for small little adjustments it can just ever so slightly tweak things and that's what you're seeing here. It went up just a little bit. Uh, so, hope uh, you can see it turning a little bit, elevating a little bit, and going from there. The box below the azimuth, uh, the uh, azimuth rotator, is the junction box. That's where the uh, coax cables will connect down to the rest of the shack. Uh, eventually, I will probably be putting in coax relays and uh, preamplifiers in that box as well to be able to uh, have a little bit more sensitivity on 70 centimeters. If that's the case, I may be able to do some EME contacts with this setup someday. If I can, that would be fantastic, but that's uh, a little bit of a long shot, but we'll, uh, we'll hope for the best. You see the, uh, the antennas are slewing and turning at azimuth, and they are elevating a little bit. The particular satellite it's tracing here, I think, is going to go up to about a 60 degree at, uh, elevation and it's going to go basically from south through the west to north. Well, hope you enjoy this. I'll uh, hope to be able to see all you new folks with my new call sign on the uh, amateur satellites, 73s.